Good morning, Mesh. Catch us on Twitter as at Mashalama Speaks. IG, it will be the man Yonella. Catch us on Facebook as Yonella Mashalaba. Okay. So President, let's 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 <laughs> put a scenario where we are in fact able to save the the year, the academic uh, year. Um and we are ready as an institution. Um, how ready would we say the institution is to save the year in terms of um, the type of support that they've been receiving from the public? Let's say we are all ready as students, all 27,000 of us, 28,000, we're ready to commence with uh, Pathway 1. Is the university receiving any, uh, have you heard anything? in terms of assistance from corporate, uh, in terms of making sure that all the students are able to receive, or as many students as possible are able to receive laptops, data, what, what, what's the response there in terms of the public assisting the, uh, the institutions or the Nelson Mandela University to, go, to continue the academic calendar? Look, Mesh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident. Um, and again, it's, it's no strategy and no solution is perfect. You know, they all have their flaws, but I'm quite confident that the university has, 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 has had a paper value of it, pinned down quite a, a, a in-depth and, and, and multifolded strategy in terms of how we can best rescue the, the academic, um, the academic um, year. Mm -hmm. um, as things stands, we've, we've submitted as the SRC, there have been constant engagements to say that um, we must begin to respond, sourcing all sorts of, 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 of assistance that we can get in ensuring that we are able to dish out our services to students as best as possible. But I think as we stand, as far as the, the strategy of the university is concerned, there is definitely an appetite from the university uh, in, in whenever government makes the call to begin to, at, 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 at a, 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 a prioritized scale, return students to campus you know because we must begin to 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 roll out that strategy whenever government allows us to do so it must be strictly on a vulnerability basis and we must prioritize um particularly those students who've who've, who've, who've been showcasing these challenges etc and and what i mean when, when when i say actually about this is because you you would say that the institution had predicted where we are going if you'd remember um, this year is the first year where we started rolling out the issue of academic coaches. It's so the first year we started rolling out the system of tracking and monitoring students' progress from the entry level into university as far as first year is concerned, so that we can begin to monitor which student is coping and adapting in which way in terms of university and what further assistance is that particular student needing. Mm -hmm. So you would say that the approach was that of predicting sort of the, pred the predicament that we would find ourselves in. So those are the students that we must prioritize when, when, when making the call to government to say that we understand that the return of students to campus will not mean business as usual, but can we then have a focal point of these students who are struggling? I mean, you can imagine, Mesh, you have students who come from your, your lower quintile schools, quintile one to three. They've, some of them, they've only interacted with the basic computer for less than a month. Mm. Schools opened in February, in March were closing down because of the pandemic. Now, these students have been struggling with end-user computing, the mm. basics, Microsoft, PowerPoint, Excel um, concepts. You're expecting the very same students to move their entire academic program, you know, the entire syllabus onto online learning. Mm. You know, the students have been doing second and their third year in end-user computing struggling. It's one of the reasons why the SRC, before we were forced to close down because of the pandemic, rolled out a program of extra classes in end-user computing because we've seen that the students who are failing the double RFCs, your, 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 your end-user computing modules because of, of the background that has been a challenge in exposing them to such conditions. So these are the same students who are expected to move their entire syllabus and their entire academic year onto online learning. So we're bound to have a challenge on them. 
Those are the students that you must prioritize and bring back to campus whenever government gives us the call. So it's not been an issue of an irresponsible call that has been made by SRCs and student leaders to say that let's bring students back to campus. Mm -hmm. We understand very well that the cases of COVID-19 have increased. We've understood very well that we're approaching our peak season, by the way. Mm -hmm. and, and if we're going to delay it now, you can imagine. If we're going to delay the return of students now, uh, figures show that we might be peaking by September as mm -hmm. a country mm -hmm. in this thing because we're approaching our winter season. Mm -hmm. uh, why delay the inevitable? I mean, universities are ready. We, we, have, we, 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 we have the necessary resource and infrastructure to ensure that we set up facilities. Mm -hmm. Clearly, there's capacity for the university to produce and assist government. Why not start the same principle at home? Okay. Our own university is producing sanitizers, personal protective equipment. There are aromas that they, they, they will be providing pairs, which mm -hmm. we, I think we've put to bed that it, it, it's not necessarily as true as the media puts it, but mm -hmm. there, there, there are residences that have been previously accredited that do not house students mm -hmm. this year. Those beds can be used in the event where there are students who are showing symptom, symptoms with tested positive or oh, I need to isolate until they develop those symptoms so that we can have clear results. They can be isolated in those areas. And the rest of the students who have tested negative can go to the comfort of their rooms, self-isolate, continue to participate in their academic.